I'm not sure if I told you, but the Megna, she was telling her teachers that they, she has a Taekwondo instructor that has long blonde hair and kicks super high and all, she's all in fascination and everything. And she asked her mom if she could be me for Halloween. <laughs> she's like, mommy, I can just wear my uniform. All you have to do is dye my belt <laughs> black and put a ponytail on top of my head and I'll be Ethel. Oh my God, that's so cute. That's like I eight. almost had tears in my eyes. I started Taekwondo when I was about three or four. It's been over 20 years now. I see the benefits of it. Yeah. Um, but when you're three years old and you're told to do the splits, mm -hmm. not the most pleasant experience. Thankfully, I, uh, my dad didn't listen to me and I kept with it. Apparently I didn't enjoy it so much because <laughs> he would make me stretch right. over and over again because there's only so much you can do with a three-year-old, right? But now look at you, you're so flexible. <laughs> so we need that one place where we can go and just completely let go of the stress, the pressures, the, the expectations. That one hour that you're training is that one me time. It has mm -hmm. integrated discipline in my life in so many aspects. Mm -hmm. And I owe that all to the discipline of Taekwondo. It also allows me to have a good surrounding. So the people I've chosen to keep around me are positive people. But over the years of being in Taekwondo, I saw what true friendship is and what having a family is and the importance of having these good people in my life. It allowed me to choose better people to surround and more positive influences. I like to focus more on, on patterns. Okay. We don't get to spend as much time sparring or power breaking. Mm -hmm. and let's face it, we can't jump for special techniques. You need to continuously work at them. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are a set of, of fundamental movements put together and that doesn't change, yeah. but every movement has a purpose, every movement has an origin, and it's set to fight a, a imaginative, imaginative person. Mm -hmm. But that also changes depending on which scenario you're performing it in. So when you're performing it at a world-class level, the pressure is so much more intense. And so all those things put together makes for a very challenging execution. Like, protocol is such a huge thing, is it not? Yeah, and you always have to pay attention to what you're doing because you are not only representing yourself, you're representing your instructor and then for the most part when we travel internationally, we're representing our country. When people see that you're doing what you're supposed to, there's a, you, you earn their respect, especially when you get higher up. Any little movement out, I don't train uh, like you do, we both help with class. Mm -hmm. So we get to help students develop and not only on a martial arts level but also on a personal level because we've seen so many kids come in with self-esteem issues and when you see that light pop mm -hmm. when kids actually get it mm -hmm. it's 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 heartwarming and you realize that mm -hmm. when you help mold a little bit mm -hmm. of their personality and abilities yeah. Yeah. yeah and then you also feel like you're part of their life yeah exactly the higher you go up the more respect you attain yeah. but there also comes a balance where it's like I'm not just getting the respect because I'm a higher belt, I'm getting the respect because of what I'm doing. And it's also the time that we've put in. Exactly. Because being a 4th Dan and a 5th Dan, we've been doing this for 21, 22 years. We are putting in our time. And that's how we've earned that respect and not, it hasn't been given. And then at these competitions, not only do you just compete, you judge, yes. and you coach. Yes. So you well, I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. I actually plan all my classes the day before, the okay. days before, and <laughs> I make a list easier. of all the things, yeah, because I want to give everyone a well-rounded um, workout that mm -hmm. will help them strengthen. Uh, I also like to make sure there's some cardiovascular exercises so to challenge them, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that there's certain techniques that are practiced because at previous competitions I'll see what the competitors in a more general this is when I go to Pembroke, of course, yes. um, what they need to work So on. say for example, if they're so used to having a linear approach when it comes to sparring, going forward and back, as opposed to side to side, then I'll make sure I integrate that into their next class. Mm -hmm. I mean, people grow up, people mm -hmm. pull whatever benefits they can from Taekwondo and mm -hmm. then we'll move on to something else. But I'm sure that the influence that they've had from Taekwondo still makes an impact on their life mm -hmm. now because you see that they've, they've, they've thrived to be the best person that they can be. So, But I still plan on opening my own school wherever I end mm -hmm. up, even if it's 
in a community yeah. center and, exactly. and people don't Doesn't have to pay matter. for their classes. Yeah. You appreciate the martial art more. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I am so much more dedicated to the art, to our family, to the Taekwondo community in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even hesitate when we have a competition to go and help mm -hmm. even if I can't compete because mm -hmm. I do get injured a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more than the average. Um, but that is definitely, it's, it's a part of my life, it's a part of every day, it's... And I feel like that break, I feel like everyone takes a break and then they like realize like... Yeah. Taekwondo is actually a part of me, like I feel like I'm missing part of my identity. Absolutely, yeah. yeah so it's worth it. Yeah. I feel like it's worth it and I feel like every black belt did it. Yeah. Well, you need to step away just to see how much, it, how important it is mm -hmm. to you. And I'm sure that other of our, our friends and family who have become a black belt and have not been able to go back, I'm sure... They all miss it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, and they if always not reflect the, on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, we've all been touched in a certain way by this art. Taekwondo so is a part of my life. It's, it's the main part of my life. Mm -hmm. and exactly. I, I owe who I am today to... Taekwondo with it. Is the camera actually oh it adds 10 pounds? Hey. Oh, this is good. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Have we turned to your right face in the fork, please? Joel, that is what you Ah yeah. Oh okay, I'm gonna fix from here, please. Yeah? Thank you. Isa!